Tonight was the David Stevens Memorial Lecture. We hold the lecture annually. This is the second time we've held it. And it's our great pleasure to remember David. David was one of the founding board members of the Community Relations Council. In fact, he served on the council to, twice uh, during his professional life. Um, and David died in 2010. And we take the opportunity just to remember him, the great work he did the relationship between reconciliation and peace building at the local level and the work of churches and um, the work of religion in general in building peace in this place. The lecture was delivered by uh, Professor John Brewer um, who knew David Stevens very well so we're very pleased about that but he also works all of his um, academic career. He has looked at the issues of religion, reconciliation and the role of civil society so a very good very appropriate speaker when we think about remembering David and the work that he has done. Well I've tried to capture three of David Stevens as central concerns that motivated his life and his work. What is uh, the nature of our religious belief, what is the connection between religion and politics, and what are the prospects for a shared society. And I've tried to suggest that religious change is happening in a way that ruptures the link between religion and politics, and once that link is ruptured, it encourages the development of a shared society. It was wonderful to be here to celebrate two things. The um, fantastic achievements of David Stevens over a long life and the fantastic achievements of the Community Relations Council. We also had the opportunity tonight to recognise two practitioners long-term practitioners on community relations work, Mary Montague and Chris O'Halloran, for the work they've done over many years on community relations. You don't do this kind of work for thanks, so thanks you aren't, aren't expected, so, and it's a, so it's an unexpected but very welcome surprise, um, so a, a great deal of pleasure. And because I'm with my peers, people that I know and respect in the room, it just it means all the more. It's very humbling. Um, I, I just feel that it's amazing that um, I'm seen in the light of many others who have already received this war, award before um, and to be one of their number is um, it's just a great privilege. Um, and I like, I'd like to think that I've, I've got the award but that it does represent the work of my staff as much as it does myself um, and people like the community people that I have worked with over the years as well. So it's on their behalf as well, not just on mine. I think for me what we haven't created here um, as one whole community and society is a shared vision of peace. I think we need to work towards that. I think that that will become um, conversations that, that will be difficult, but we have to have them. We can't avoid them. Um, and I think that it's very, very important at this juncture uh, to start creating that common vision, that understood vision, um, because it's in the light of that that we will take responsibility for one another and for one another's human rights as much as we will seek in our own.